Uh, and now we have views of the interior, uh, interior of Crew-1. Um, we just saw Mike Hopkins, the commander, and to uh, his side is uh, Victor Glover, to his right-hand side. And then on the left, you can see Shannon Walker there relaxing in her seat. In the far right is Soichi Noguchi, JAXA astronaut. These four crew members uh, scheduled to splash down in just about two and a half hours. Those vehicles through the four departure burns we saw earlier. Uh, and then that final major deorbit burn coming up here. Uh, at re-entry, those seats do recline and they will recline uh, back and up about 26 degrees in preparation for re-entry of the capsule. And on the screens, that, those are the thrusters firing. Uh, as we mentioned, we are in the midst of the deorbit burn right now, and they are monitoring. So this is a, an amazing opportunity to get to see the inside of the cabin at this point. We just had that view from the International Space Station of Crew Dragon in the trunk having recently separated. And this is uh, these are the four crew members who are currently inside, and they are committed to coming home. They're using the screens to keep tabs on the burn duration, uh, the Draco thrusters firing, and trajectory details like entry angle, capsule perigee, and how much distance remaining until deorbit burn termination. And those four drogue shoots. Oh, you can see them being pulled out now. Visual on four mains. And resilient. Copies, and we see a nominal descent rate. SpaceX copies and concern, concurs nominal descent rate. And this view coming from the WB-57, very clear image of those four main parachutes slowing the vehicle down to what will be about 16 miles per hour prior to splashdown just off the coast of Panama City, Florida. If it were daylight, we would have an image of those meters. four Beautiful parachutes being orange and white. And still getting these incredible views, even though we are in a nighttime splashdown. So we are waiting for uh, visuals of splashdown. The Dragon One program had great success with water landing with 20 successful splashdowns over the course of that program, nine of which were carried out by <laughs> flight proven Dragon spacecrafts. In space side, you've broken, but we show you just under 800 meters. Still good descent, right? Just under 800 meters from the Earth. That's about half of a mile. And we are tracking splashdown. And 600 meters, and we're showing 10 meters per second on the descent rate. A little higher than nine. SpaceX copies. And what a view we have here. Even though it's nighttime, uh, we have some great visuals uh, of Dragon there with his four main chutes deployed. Uh, slowly coming back to Earth. Splashdown is scheduled for just a few minutes from now. Meters. Now just a quarter of a mile away from splashdown. And that splashdown time is scheduled for 11.57 p.m. Pacific time. And SpaceX, we show nominal descent rates, 200 meters, brace for splashdown. SpaceX copies, brace for splashdown. Seconds away from splashdown, everything nominal aboard Crew Dragon Resilience returning to Earth. And there are the boats starting to chase after Dragon um, to begin their recovery operations as soon as Dragon lands. And I don't know if you can hear the applause. 
but we have visual confirmation of the Crew-1 resilience capsule. From resilience. Uh, this excellent news, we are splashed down. We the pyros have fired or water. SpaceX copies and concurs. We do she main cut as well. And that's a great picture. You can see just how calm the the sea really is. That is the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty amazing that, that it's that truly glassy, as we heard described earlier. A great view of the capsule now and the person preparing it to be hoisted on to go navigator. Dragon SpaceX, brace for capsule lift. Go ahead, Paul. We're here at the lift. Crew Dragon Resilience now out of the water and pre being prepared to be placed on that dragon nest in the center of your screen at the bottom. And just an hour ago, this capsule had just completed the deorbit burn and was still in space and now is being returned to go navigator the first time for these crew members to be on Earth in almost six months. Pretty much on uh, the center of the screen, you can see the side hatch of the Dragon capsule. Uh, later on today, that's where the astronauts will be egressing from. When they were attached to the International Space Station, they exited from the top hatch where the nose cone opens up. The hatch is now open. Uh, we also heard some applause at Mission Control here in uh, SpaceX. Just a tremendous amount of dedication that has gone into this uh, particular mission over the last couple of years. And so. Yeah, in the uh, bottom left of your, of your screen, there is a stretcher there. Um, again, that is standard. Uh, returning back to Earth after such a long duration in microgravity has, um, you know, it can do things to your body. Um, so. Those two SpaceX team members preparing to help out the next crew member.